you're welcome how to solve this nice square root problem solution from here and what we have here we take the square on both sides at this here we have square root of x then square root of x square root of x and square root of x or square here then equals to also 27 square yeah, that is yeah. Square cancel the four square roots, and we left with x times square root of x, and square root of x, square root of x equals to twenty seven square. Also, next step here, we square both side again. Square this side, and also square this side. Then here, yeah, this power of 2 will affect x, and this becomes x square. Also, times we square this again, which is square root of x, square root of x, square root of x, square. Then equals to also this power multiplies when we have a raised to power m raised to power n, which is a raised to power m. -A. At this year, this becomes 27 raised to the power 4. Then also, this square cancel this square root. At this, we have x square times x, then times square root of x, square root of x, which is equal to 27 raised to the power 4 now. Then, yeah, this is x raised to the power 1. And here, when we have a raised to power m times a raised to power n, this is same thing as a raised to power m plus n. At this, we can say this is x raised to power 2 plus 1, that's 3, then times root x, square root of x, which is equal to 27 raised to power 4. Then also, next step, we square everything on this side. Also, we square this side. As this the power of two here affects this, and we have x raised to the power three square. In times also square root of x square root of x or square. Then equals to this. Also multiplies two times four. That's eight. We have twenty-seven raised to the power eight. And this also multiply, we have x raised to the power 6, then times here to cancel the square root. We have x, then root x equals to 27 raised to the power 8. As this here, also we have power of 1 here. We also have this power, we have x raised to the power 7, then root x now equals to 27 raised to the power 8. Then we square everything on this side. Also, we square everything on this side. The square also affects x raised to the power 7. We have x raised to the power 7 square then times root x also square, which is equal to this two multiply it. We have two, 27 raised to the power 16 now. Then here, 2 times 4, that's 14. We have x raised to the power 14, then times. This also cancel each other. We have times x, which is equal to 27 raised to the power 16. That is, and this here, also we have x raised to the power 1. And we can write that x raised to the power 14 plus 1 equals to 27 raised to the power 16. And this is x raised to the power 15 equals to 27 raised to the power 16. Then we remove this power of 15 and we can multiply both power here by 1 over 15. So multiply this by 1 over 15. Here this power of 15 cancelled each other. We have x equals to 27 now raised to the power. 16 over 15 years.
and we can reduce this further and we say this is x equals to 27 can be written as 3 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 16 over 15. and since this power multiplies also 3 goes here 1 and 3 goes here 5 and this becomes x raised to power 3 raised to power 16 over 5 and also you can write this and we have x equals to 3 raised to power 16 can be written as 15 plus 1 10 over 5 and also you can split this and we have x equals to 3 raised to power 15 over 5 plus 1 over 5 that is this is x equals to 3 raised to power 15 over 5 that's 3 plus 1 over 5 and also when we have a raised to power n plus n you can separate it as a raised to power n times a raised to power n which implies here you can write as x equals to 3 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power 1 over 5 that is here we have x equals to 3 raised to power 3 you multiply itself three times that's 27 and times when we have a raised to power 1 over 5 rise as fifth root of a that is here you can express this as fifth root of 3 and here the value of x we have 27 multiplied by fifth root of 3 and we conclude here a solution to this problem which is given and what we get we conclude that x equals to 27 times fifth root of 3 so that is the value of x here and thank you for watching us here as master t but don't forget the steps Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up with your comment. And see you next class. Bye for now.